accept your own thoughts, there is absolutely nothing that you control completely. You know, there's nothing outside of yourself that you can control completely. Everything, uh, most of the stuff is is beyond your control. Um, if you think about the world in general, most of the things that are happening out there, you just can't control any of them, so don't even bother. But what you do control is your thoughts, and you do control how you respond in life, you know, how you respond to everything that's happening outside. But I think if you focus your mind on just the, the thoughts that you can control, um, you'll go a long way. You know, your your immediate thoughts might be difficult to control. I mean, how can you... That thought that just pops into your mind and... Um, I want to hit somebody. I want to do this. I want to do that. Um, I'd like to do this. You get a feeling that you want to do this. You have an emotional response that you're thinking, ah, oh, bugger it, I want to do this. All of those things... Uh, may not be in your control because they just pop in right but you always control how you respond and this is the important part it's the important part to understand and to separate those things and um, you know there are still times these times happen very very seldom but there are still times when i think in my mind and uh, a thought pops up that um, i want to have a drink because i'm so pissed off with something or i'm so just i want to get out of myself I don't want to think anymore but it's an immediate thought that is immediately quashed by don't be a fucking idiot right <laughs> or something along those lines or it's just I mean most of the time now it's just yeah I laugh at myself um, or I go and do something else because you know I know it's not going to happen right? so you have to think to yourself that you control your thoughts you might not control that initial thought but you control um, your thoughts and nothing else not having control, you saying that you don't have control of your thoughts is is an excuse. Uh, it's as pure and simple as that because there's nobody else that can control your thoughts rather than you. You know, you saying to yourself that you haven't got control over your drinking is an excuse. You're saying to yourself that you haven't got control of the food that you put into your mouth is an excuse. These are all excuses for you not wanting to control your thoughts. You know, you I understand it. Don't get me wrong. I spent so much of my life um, hiding from myself and using alcohol to hide from the things that I needed to do, uh, hiding from the things that I had to do in my life, you know, that were essential, uh, being a good dad, right, working hard and trying to build a business or trying to build a good life for myself, trying to head towards uh, being a good husband. Um, there's so many things that, that are at the core of trying to get to the best version of yourself or trying to live that best version of yourself. Uh, get to the best version of your life and it's you know it's one of the most worthwhile um, it's one of the worth, most worthwhile pursuits that you can have in life but it's so easy to say to yourself I'm not I don't want to do this today I want to lose myself in alcohol and once you get onto that road of that type of instant gratification then it's very difficult you know it's very difficult when when the, the chips are down when you're in a really bad mood or you're having trouble and anxiety to pull yourself back and to not do that and the more you do this the more you try and resolve anxious thoughts or anxious times through alcohol the more you're going to do it because you're creating the anxious times you're creating the anxious thoughts you know that the the more your life gets screwed around with because of alcohol the more you are creating the situation where you're going to do it more and more and more so they always say in between the stimulus the trigger and the response that is the time where you get to to choose right so think about this in terms of um self-control some of your self-control is instinctual right some of it is you know you're just going to control yourself in that way because you know that you have to to um to get the job done or to to get the money that you need to to, to drink or to, to to do whatever you need to do and some of it is uh, it's not instinctual some of it is that it, and i think the majority of it you have to learn how to do but it's a step-by-step -step process you build it up um you build it up as you're going along and you know i, I truly believe that uh, the more you control yourself in different situations it's like learning how to play a game learn how to play soccer or something like that. the more you can learn about the game the more you can learn about the actual um, self-control in whatever situation you're in 
um, the more you'll be able to apply those same lessons in other areas. Um, it's it's essential that you start out with that idea though that all of your thoughts are controllable. Um, if there is a will, you will find a way, right? If you if you have a will to do it, if you have a motivation to do it. So first it's finding the motivation, and then it's finding the way of doing it. And most of that is uh, is learning, you know, and it's step by step. You know, you're never going to get to uh, to massive self-control overnight. It's going to always take you quite a while to get there. But anyway, that's enough for today. Uh, I'll speak to you in the next one. Take care of yourself.